U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, North Carolina has become a destination for abortion access. Thanks for joining us. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter. Abortion is legal in North Carolina up to 20 weeks of pregnancy. CBS 17's Nick Sturdivant is live in Raleigh for us tonight. And Nick, clinics are seeing quite the increase in patients. Yeah, that's right, you guys. The clinic behind me told CBS News the number of out-of-state patients is up. I spoke with another clinic today here in the area, and they told me they had to hire more staff to keep up with demand. In June, dozens flooded downtown Raleigh to protest the U.S. Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. Since then, Planned Parenthood South Atlantic clinics have been flooded with out-of-state patients. North Carolina has seen a tremendous increase in people traveling from out-of-state to get abortion care here. The number of out-of-state patients that Planned Parenthood health centers are seeing since June has more than tripled. A woman's choice clinic in Raleigh told CBS News before the Supreme Court's decision, about 35% of patients were from out of state. Now, with most neighboring states restricting or banning abortions, is up to 56%. Triangle Abortion Access Coalition exists to um, just support clinics and the people visiting those clinics. Kelsey McLean, founder of Triangle Abortion Access Coalition, also says our group has seen an increase in volunteers. We've really had to, you know, kick up our training and our implementing of new volunteers at the clinic into high gear due to all of the interest. But there's pushback. This is what we've been warning. Up. This is the abortion extremism that's gone on in North Carolina for the last um, 50 years. Tammy Fitzgerald with NC Values Coalition says state law should go further than a 20 week ban. This whole issue is about saving unborn babies from being ripped apart in the womb. And um, I think people need to realize that's exactly what abortion is. Republicans are seeking to win a veto proof supermajority in the General Assembly this year, saying the laws dealing with abortion access will be a top priority during next year's legislative session. And you guys, another challenge that Planned Parenthood told me that they're facing is patient wait time. Live in Raleigh this afternoon, Nick Sturdivant, CBS 17 News. All right, Nick, thank you.